Namaste, I am Dr. Sri Lakshmi Adhyapat from India. I am reciting my poem, Agni the Awakening. An abyss inky dark, without beginning or end, a void fathomless, being adrift in an ignorant bend, slumber so intense in an epochal role, <clears throat> a stillness beyond time's eternal scroll, creator's spark in a trice divine, brightness so sharp springs from sticks wooden sublime, in a gentle light a spark seemingly weak, into a flame feral an all-consuming peak, into an inferno destructive consumes its progenitors wooden, in a primal bolt the veil of darkness rent so diligently spun, darkness into brilliance blinding transformed, a primordial spark into a destructive deity armed, of nature's elements five, in abode's triumvirate, embodied as fire on earthly terrain to relate, in lightning flashes across atmospheric ether, in sun's blazing aura, the skies smolder in a fever, fire as a passage betwixt humans and gods, witness to rites for human passage easily trod, of bonding eternal and knowledge sublime, divining consciousness of the highest prime, liberating the straits of life's egress bound, in chains worldly of material sound, a travel from life to death, from death to life, in its very breath. So in conclusion or a synopsis, I would like to say that Agni being one of the five elements of nature is taken as the primordial element which was almost the first element uh, to be created. And this <clears throat> has taken us and it has it is almost like an awakening like they say in Sanskrit, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya. So it is from darkness to light. So it takes us from darkness to light, an awakening, a spiritual awakening. And this is very vital. And it's a very vital force uh, in nature, which we have to worship and which we have to assimilate. Thank you.